the business degree tier list for 2023. In today's video, we're gonna be ranking business majors from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. So I did this video last year and it was a great video, but this year I'm really optimizing it. I'm adding some things that I think are incredibly important. And the biggest thing that I'm adding that makes this list much better than last year's list is entry level jobs, right? So we're gonna be talking about how much demand there is for different jobs at the entry level because there's a lot of jobs out there where there's a ton of demand, but unfortunately, because of how corporations work and automation, et cetera, there isn't that much opportunity at the entry level. So landing that first job can be incredibly difficult. And then there's other jobs out there where landing the first job is super easy. And then even from there, there's even more opportunity. So in this year's list, I figured out a method to accurately gauge this. So if you appreciate videos like this, go ahead, float your eyes down to that like button and give it a nice stinging jab like Muhammad Ali. And with that being said, said, let's jump right into it. So the first one on the list is going to be advertising. And of course, I'm not going to spend too much time on each one of these. You can check out my whole channel to get more in-depth details on these. But the early career pay for people who graduate with advertising degrees is going to be 43,000. Mid-career pay is 86,000. The salary score is 39 out of 100. The demand score is 106, so it's off the charts. The meaning score is 32%, which is a bit low. And the amount of bachelor grads per year is going to to be 4,300. Now, if you type in advertising on Glassdoor, you're gonna see that they make around $73,000 a year. And if you type in advertising on LinkedIn and then sort by jobs and then sort by entry level, you're gonna see 97,000 results. So a lot of jobs there. Overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put advertising as a major into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be health management or health administration. With this one, the early career pay is gonna be 49,000, mid career pay pay is 88,000, salary score is 46, demand score is 45. The meaning is pretty good, especially for a business degree at 53%. And the bachelor degree graduates per year is 2,400. If you type in health administrator on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $55,000 a year. And if you type in health administration on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 46,000 results for jobs. So overall, this one is not terrible, but it's also not great. I'm gonna put it into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be hotel administration. With this one, you can expect to make about $57,000 a year starting out. Mid-career pay is 89,000. That's a salary score of about 57 out of 100, but the demand score is three out of 100. The meaning is 39%, so a bit low. And the bachelor grads per year is 1,600. If you type in hotel administrator on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $41,000 a year. And if you type in hotel administration on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see about 2,600 results. So overall, not very good. This is one that's just way too specific, especially for a business degree. So this one is gonna go into D tier. And by the way, guys, if I forget to include a business degree, if there's a business degree that you think should have been included on this list, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll try to get it into next year's list. One of them that was a suggestion is going to be real estate. So yes, real estate is an actual major. So with this one, the early career pay is 54,000, mid-career pay is 95,000. The salary score is decent at 57. The demand is very bad at nine out of 100. The meaning is relatively low at 30. 39%, and the bachelor grads per year is about 1,000. Now, if you type in real estate on Glassdoor, you're gonna see a very nice salary of $109,000 a year. And if you type in real estate on LinkedIn, you're gonna see a lot of opportunities at the entry level at about 82,000. But here's the thing about real estate. You absolutely, under no circumstances, need to get a degree to get into real estate. So real estate as a career is great, but real estate as a degree is totally unnecessary and therefore this one is going to go into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be management science. With this one, the early career pay is 58,000, mid-career pay is 102,000, salary score is a very healthy 66, but unfortunately the demand score is 0 0.8. Really, really bad. The meaning here is 41% and the bachelor grads per 
per year is 3,500. Now with this one, if you type in management science on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $107,000 a year. And if you type in management science on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 61,000 results. Now, when you look into this one a little bit more deeply, there's sort of some issues with the way that it's worded. So on LinkedIn, the reason you see a lot of results for management science is because of the fact there are people looking for managers in science related fields, right? So it's not necessarily because they're looking for people who have management science degrees. And the ones that are looking specifically for management science degrees, a lot of the time you need to have a graduate level degree. So a master's or a doctorate. And so this one can be a little bit misleading. But with that being said, the statistics are not terrible. This one goes into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be agricultural business. You might also see this one referred to as agribusiness. With this one, the early career pay is 49,000, mid-career pay is 74,000, salary score is 39, demand score is very low at five, meaning score is relatively high for a business degree at 46, and the bachelor grads per year is just over a thousand. Now, if you type in agriculture on Glassdoor, you're going to see $68,000 a year. And if you type in agricultural business on LinkedIn, you're going to see 2,200 results. So overall, this one is not great. I'm going to put it into F tier. Next one on the list is fashion merchandising. The early career pay here is 43,000, mid-career pay is 70,000, salary score is 29, and demand score is 1. The bachelor grads per year here is going to be 2,600. If you type this one in on Glassdoor, you're going to see about $56,000 a year. And if you type in fashion merchandising on LinkedIn, you're going to see 5,500 results at the entry level. If you type in fashion merchandiser on LinkedIn, you're going to see 22,000 results. So this one is not great, but at the same time, it's not the worst one. So I'm going to put it into D tier. Next one on the list is managerial economics. With this one, the early career pay is 59,000. Mid-career pay is 106,000. Salary score is 69. The demand score is a paltry six. The meaning is 39%. And the total bachelor grads per year is about 5,500. If you type in economist manager on LinkedIn, you're going to see $150,000 a year. And if you type in managerial economist, you're going to see 15,000 results. So overall, relatively good. This one goes into B tier. Next one on the list is one of my favorite degrees of all time, which is management information systems. It combines technology skills with business skills. And that is a phenomenal combination. Now the early career pay here is going to be 60,000 mid career pay is 105,000. So that's a salary score of 70, which is great for business degrees. The demand score is off the charts at 113. The meaning is 42%, which is decent for business degrees and the bachelor grads per year is about 7,800, but this one is growing relatively quickly. Now, if you type in management information systems on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 48,000 results. And if you type in management information systems on Glassdoor, you're going to see 96,000 for the average salary. So this one definitely is going into S tier. And if there was an S plus tier, this is the one that would be there. This is the best business degree, in my opinion. Next one on the list is going to be finance. So the early career pay is going to be 55,000 mid-career pay is 98,000. Salary score is going to be 60, which is great for business degrees. The demand score is also off the charts at about 133, meaning is going to be 40%. And the total graduates per year is 37,000. If you type in finance on Glassdoor, there's 96,000 salary. And if you type it in on LinkedIn at the entry level, you are going to see 323,000 results. So lots of opportunities out there for people who graduate with finance degrees. So this one goes into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be accounting. The early career pay here is going to be 51,000. Mid career pay is 88,000. That's a salary score of 48. The demand score is also off the charts at 127, meaning is a little bit higher at 41%. And the total bachelor grads per year is 50,000. Now, when it comes to comparing accounting versus finance, they're both really good degrees. Accounting tends to be a little more flexible and general. So there's a lot of finance jobs that you can do with an accounting degree, whereas the other way around doesn't necessarily necessarily work. According to Glassdoor, accountants make $59,000 a year. And if you type in accounting on LinkedIn, you're going to see 316,000 results at the entry level. So accounting also goes into S tier, one of the best business degrees, no doubt. Next one on the list is going to be economics. 
So this one isn't technically a business degree, but a lot of the same careers that you would go into with a business degrees, you're gonna go into with an economics degree. So I just include them on the same list. So yeah, uh, if you type in economist on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $109,000 a year. If you type in economics on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 53,000 results at the entry level. Keep in mind with this one, a lot of economics specific related jobs are gonna require a graduate level degree. But with that being said, this one is still pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a tier. Next one on the list is supply chain management. The early career pay is gonna be 58,000. Mid career pay is 94,000. That's a salary score of 61. The demand score is 105, so it's off the charts. Meaning is 41%. And the bachelor grads per year is 5,100. If you type in supply chain management on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $93,000 a year. And if you type it in on LinkedIn, you are gonna see a whopping 74,000 results at the entry level. And we of course have seen over the last two years how incredible incredibly important the supply chain is. So this one is gonna go into S tier. Next one on the list is an international business degree. The early career pay is going to be 50,000. Mid career pay is 96,000. The salary score is 53. The demand score is gonna be 49. The meaning is 39%. And the bachelor grads per year is 5,600. If you type in international business on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $93,000 a year for the salary. And if you type it in on LinkedIn at the entry level for for jobs, you're gonna see 25,000 results. So overall, this one is pretty good. You definitely wanna have a plan if you go into this one. For instance, you know, if you wanna do international business, figure out what country you're gonna specialize in, right? Are you gonna do international business with China? Are you gonna do it with like Saudi Arabia? You wanna figure these things out, very, very important. But if you are someone who goes into this with a really good plan, this one can be phenomenal. But overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be sales and business marketing. So sales and marketing are two of the most valuable skills that you could possibly learn. But with that being said, colleges aren't necessarily the best at teaching these skills. So this is actually two separate degrees at some colleges, some colleges, they combine them, some colleges make it to where you can kind of get a dual or, or do both of them at once. So I couldn't include the stats on this one. But you know, sales marketing, when you type it in on Glassdoor, it's $91,000 a year, type it in on LinkedIn, you're going to see 123,000 results. So there is a lot of demand for people who have these skills. It's just that college isn't very good at teaching these skills, especially with something like marketing that is constantly changing over time, colleges simply cannot keep up with the current trends. So this one is going to go into C tier. Next one on the list is going to be a marketing degree. The early career pay is 48. Mid career pay is 89. Salary score is 46. The demand score is really good at 146. The meaning is 39% and the bachelor grads per year is 35,000. If you look this one up on Glassdoor, you're going to see $79,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn at the entry level, you are going to see a whopping 681,000 results. So the thing about this one is, yes, it is very valuable. It's kind of similar to real estate. It's a very valuable skill to learn. It's a great career to get into, but you absolutely do not need college to get into many of the jobs, especially the really lucrative ones. For instance, the most valuable skill you can learn in marketing is digital marketing. And unfortunately, when you look at marketing curriculums, they barely even touch it, right? So a lot of the time, and you can just look this up, right? Colleges make their curriculum available. There's only gonna be like one to three classes on digital marketing. So what I recommend instead for anybody who wants to get into marketing is to take a course from a company called Digital Career Blueprint. I've talked about this company quite a bit on this channel. They talk about in-demand careers such as digital marketing ones like SEO, pay-per-click, social media, advertising, etc. And I've done a bunch of interviews with people who have gotten jobs in digital marketing. There was even one 16-year-old, his name is James, who was able to get a job. And of course, he did not have a college degree and he didn't have any previous experience. And that's the great thing about digital marketing. You don't need those things. So you absolutely do not need to waste four to five years of your time getting a college degree in marketing if your goal is to go into digital marketing. So definitely check that out. He does have a free masterclass, which I will put down in the description 
description as well as the pinned comment below. So overall, I do think this one is a little bit of correlation and not causation. I think that people who want to go into marketing, I mean, it's a super in-demand skill, so they're gonna hire you and then they're gonna train you anyways, but you absolutely do not need to have a degree for this one. So many companies drop that requirement. And in many cases, companies are actually annoyed when they have to unteach the things that colleges taught wrong. But overall, because it's such a valuable skill and there's so much opportunity, I am gonna put this one into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be a general business degree. The early career pay is gonna be 47,000, mid-career pay is 83,000, the demand score is 112, and the meaning is 50%. So the problem with this one is I can't even look up a career for this one because, I mean, it's just general business. Like there's a million different careers that you could technically go into. But that's kind of the problem with this one is it's just way too general. When it comes to business degrees, you do wanna specialize a little bit at least because they're already so flexible on their own that it's best to specialize a little bit. So with this one, I'm gonna have to put it into C tier. Next one on the list is entrepreneurship. Yes, this is an actual degree. The early career pay is 45,000, mid-career pay is 89,000, salary score is 43, demand score is 25, meaning is 38% and the best bachelor grads per year is 2,600. And this is another one where you can't really look up the stats because if you do an entrepreneurship degree, that means you're planning on starting your own business. But the problem with that is you absolutely cannot learn how to start a business in college. That's one of those things that colleges simply cannot teach. There's really two ways that I recommend learning business. The first one is to work for a business owner and just you know do a really good job for them and kind of pick their brain. In some cases, you might even be lucky enough to have a mentor. And then the second way is to just simply start your own business. College is not going to teach you how to be successful at business. If anything, they're gonna teach you a bunch of stuff that isn't going to work. But with that being said, the numbers here are relatively decent. I think it's another case of correlation and not causation. I think that people who are interested in an entrepreneurship degree are people who are interested in starting their own business. And so therefore, those types of people people tend to be more successful. So overall, I'm gonna put this one into D tier. Next one on the list is business administration, one of the most common degrees in the world. The early career pay is 48,000, mid-career pay is 80,000, salary score is 41, demand score is 122, meaning is 49%, and the bachelor grads per year is 138,000. If you look this one up on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $59,000 a year. And if you look up business administration on LinkedIn, at the entry level, you're gonna see 71 thousand results. So the big problem with this one, and it's kind of a little bit of a flaw in my methodology, and it can make it a little bit kind of complicated for certain degrees because of the fact that there's so many graduates with this degree, 139,000 per year, it kind of throws off the demand score a little bit. So the number of jobs available when you search indeed, for instance, with the keyword business administration degree is 64,000. However, the bachelor grads per year is 138,000. So that's actually not a good sign. And and then if you look on LinkedIn at the entry level, business administration only has 71,000 results. So again, that's not a good sign when you have 138,000 people graduating every year. So overall, the stats look relatively decent because business degrees in general are okay. But again, I think that might be a little bit of a case of correlation and not causation. So this one is gonna go into D tier. Next one on the list is a human resource management degree. The early career pay is 44,000, mid-career pay 73,000, salary score is 32, demand score is 46, meaning is 54%, which is above average, and the bachelor grads per year is 6,800. Now, if you look up human resource on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $74,000 a year. And if you type in human resources on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 202,000 results at the entry level. Now, with this one, I will say, the stats actually look relatively decent, but there is a hidden problem here. And that hidden problem is that a lot of different people can get into human resource management positions without getting a human resource management degree. However, if you get a human resource management degree, there's a lot of positions that aren't going to be as open to you, right? So for instance, there are a lot of unemployed psychology graduates who try to get human resource management positions. So it's actually a relatively decent career when you look at the numbers, but the degree itself isn't that great. But with that being said, it's also not the worst degree either. So with this one, I'm going to put it into C tier. 
Next one on the list is gonna be random, very specific management related degrees. So for instance, tourism management. With this one, you'll see $40,000 a year starting out, 58,000 in mid-career pay, salary score is 19, demand score is eight, and the bachelor grads per year is like, you know, 684. So an office management job, you're gonna see, you know, $50,000 a year. So there are a lot of business degrees like this, and generally speaking, I recommend staying far away from them, right? hotel management, tourism management, cruise ship management, whatever type of management degree that's super, super specific, I would stay away from it. It's another one of those things where you can get into these positions with a bunch of different degrees, but if you get that degree, you're basically pigeonholed into a specific position. So that puts you at a huge disadvantage. So these types of degrees go into F tier. If you wanna get a really in-demand career that you can do fully remotely that I'm seeing tons and tons of people have success with, I highly recommend checking out that free masterclass, which I put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you wanna check out that interview with James, who is a 16 year old who is able to get a job using that masterclass, go ahead and check that out right here.